Okay, before I get into uh, my little rant today, I'm, uh, I just want to say Tabasco1983, thank you for subscribing. Um, appreciate it. Always like getting new subscribers. I'm averaging about four months at this point. So, thank you. Appreciate it. Forgot to do your shout out last time. So, I actually did another blog earlier, um, but I didn't like it. And uh, it's just kind of rambling and. I mean, it was nine minutes long, and really, I didn't say anything, so... But then again, when do I ever? So, I did want to say that, um... I'm really sick and tired of spending $9.25, or eight fifty, or ten fifty, or however much money the individual theater costs, uh, to go see bad films. Alright, you, you want to know why... Uh, a lot of these movies don't make money in theaters. Well, first of all, they spend $300 million making it, like Superman. Um, and then they end up, you know, e either I know it's going to be on DVD in six months and I can buy it for the price of two tickets, or um, it's just a really awful film. And in the case of the movie I saw the other night, last night actually, uh, it was just a really awful film. It's called Children of Men. The premise behind the film is that for some reason, um, women become infertile about 2009. And um, for the next 18 years, no children are born on the entire planet. Um, which is kind of interesting considering that all the animals are having kids, so no, I can't figure that one out. But anyway... Uh, but it's just humans. We're the only ones that can't have children. It's worldwide all of a sudden uh, over the course of like a month or two. So, um, the um, main character is this uh, former hippie peacenik who now works a regular job. And, um, basically, he's asked by this terrorist organization, which is obviously a terrorist organization in name only because they don't actually do terror anymore, but. They're kind of like the IRA, but for looking for the rights of immigrants. And um, it, it's, um, well, he gets sucked into this whole thing, and it turns out that uh, the passenger is the first pregnant woman in 18 years, and six months or something like that. Anyway, um, the, the, the battle scenes were great. I mean, there really were. There were f phenomenal uh, special effects on the battle scenes. Um, the rest of the movie... I spent the first 30 minutes trying to figure out what the hell was going on. And after about 10 minutes of the movie, I was checking my watch on... Well, actually, my phone, because I don't carry a watch, but anyway. Checking on, you know, how much longer until I get to go home. And, um... The whole movie, there are all these little digs on current politics... Um, and, you know, largely against um, um, people who would be considered conservative in the United States. I don't know how it works out in other countries, but basically anybody who's for the free market, anybody who's for uh, strict regulation of borders, anybody who's for all different kinds of things, uh, they, they have this... Um, they, they basically um, make uh, a lot of... Uh, references to that and how evil those people are. And, you know, I'm sitting there watching the film and going, gosh, everything I believe in is uh, being, you know, made fun of and, and, and uh, described as evil and, you know, what real purpose do I have in staying for this film other than to get myself angrier and angrier as the minutes go by? So I'm not going to give away the end of the film. I'm just going to say that it was um, typical Hollywood crap. And, um, <clears throat> you know, every once in a while you get a really good film coming out of Hollywood. Uh, you know, Saving Private Ryan was a really good film. Um, you know, Superman was a pretty good film. Not a great film, but a pretty good film. Um, the, the Superman Returns. And, you know, if you, wanna, if you want something that's less violent, all right, Serendipity was a good film. Love Actually was a good film don't normally like the um, romantic stories, but they were funny enough that it kept me interested. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, 
it's very rare that Hollywood ever comes out with a good movie. And last night, I, I mean, I, I want to call up Universal and ask for my money back. God awful film. And um, I mean, even if you're liberal, I mean, you have to feel like you're being patronized by these people. Uh, that I mean, that's how bad it was. And you know, my friends liked it, and they make me look like I'm liberal. Um, but uh, you know. I was just sitting there thinking, God, everything I believe in is being quite... Oh, man. Yeah. So. So I've been going on for six minutes on that, and uh, so I apologize. I, I, uh, but I had to say something about this god-awful film. Do not go see it. Do not. Conservative, liberal, whatever. If you're conservative, you're going to hate the message. If you're liberal, you're going to feel patronized. So just don't bother. I'm going to watch Family Guy now.